Some pregnancies continue past 40 weeks of gestation. This is where induction of labour may be offered. On your routine visit to your community midwife at 40 weeks, she will look at booking you an induction for the future, around about term plus 10 days. In the event that labour doesn't happen, you have your induction appointment booked and you can attend the unit to start the induction process. Induction is used really because the placental efficiency deteriorates towards the end of a pregnancy. Therefore, we like the babies to be delivered by about the 42nd week of pregnancy. Induction of labour takes place on Ward 21 within the unit. You'll be shown to a bed and introduced to the midwife who's caring for you. General assessment of your well-being and the baby's well-being will be made. Through vaginal examination, your cervix will be assessed and the choice of induction method will be taken. Often we need to use synthetic hormones to stimulate your cervix to go into labour. This is based on an individual basis. Following vaginal examination, your induction method will be chosen. The first one which may be used is a drug called Propess. This is a tampon-like drug which is inserted into the vagina and left for 24 hours. All the time this is in, your baby is regularly monitored, so every four hours you will receive CTG monitoring. In the event spontaneous labour doesn't occur within 24 hours, the propest will be removed and a rest period will follow. After the rest period, the next form of induction that may be used is a drug called Prostin. This is synthetic hormone in a gel format, again inserted into the vagina to soften and ripen the cervix. This is a six hour process and again your baby will be monitored. In the event that labour spontaneously doesn't occur within this time, a second prostin may be given. Hopefully, labour will spontaneously happen within somewhere along this process and you could be transferred to labour ward. In the event that labour doesn't happen, the drugs given may be enough to soften and ripen your cervix and start dilatation. If this is the case, you may be able to have your waters broken. This is called an artificial rupture of membranes. Artificial rupture of membranes is carried out on the labour ward. Your midwife will assess you and then very carefully rupture your bag of membranes. You'll be given some time to mobilise to try and stimulate your body to go into labour on its own. In the event that you don't spontaneously go into labour, a synthetic hormone can be given via a drip. This is called syntocinon. VBAC is vaginal birth after caesarean. This is offered to women who have had previous caesarean section deliveries. Around 36 weeks, you will be invited to our VBAC clinic where you will be seen by a consultant midwife, the risks and benefits will be discussed and a plan of care will be put into place. Your appointments will be made and everything will be documented. While we try to achieve a 100% success rate, VBAC is not always successful. If you experience difficulties or complications during your labour, the doctors may discuss a caesarean section with you. If this is to take place, it will take place on the labour ward theatres. You will be recovered in your labour ward room and when you're safe to be transferred upstairs, you will be returned to the postnatal ward. There are two types of caesarean section. A planned caesarean section, given for medical reasons, and an unplanned emergency caesarean section. If we look at a planned caesarean section first, this is usually discussed with a consultant around 36 weeks. A delivery date is given and on that date you will be admitted to the hospital to the postnatal ward. An emergency caesarean section usually takes place during a labour. If you experience difficulties or complications during your labour, an emergency section may be given. The section will take place in the labour ward theatres you're recovered in your labour ward room. If your delivery is by caesarean section, your partner can stay with you for the duration 
and your baby stays with you afterwards. Instrumental delivery is a delivery carried out by a doctor. There are several reasons you may need an instrumental delivery. Maybe you've been pushing for some time, you're tired, maybe the baby's tired, maybe the baby hasn't come down in the pelvis as much as we would like. The doctor will come in and assess the situation and discuss with you the possibilities of using an instrument to deliver your baby safely. We have several different types of instrument that we use within the unit. The first being a Kiwi cup. A Kiwi cup is a handheld suction device which is applied to your baby's head. With maternal effort and the doctor using the other end, you push and the doctor will pull to deliver your baby's head safely. The second is a Vontus delivery. Much the same as a Kiwi delivery, it's a suction device. It's a metal cup attached to a foot operated suction machine. Again, you have a contraction, you push and the doctor will pull to deliver your baby's head safely. The third option would be forceps. These are metal blades that go around the side of the baby's head, one round each side locking together. You have a contraction, you push and the doctor will pull on the forceps to safely deliver your baby's head. The decision will be made which instrument to use dependent on the height of your baby's head, the position of your baby's head. At your 40 week appointment, your midwife will discuss induction of labour with you. She will also discuss stretch and sweep. Although stretch and sweep sounds daunting, it's the most natural way of stimulating your body into a natural labour pattern. A vaginal examination takes place where your midwife will stretch your cervix and sweep the membranes. If it's your first baby, stretch and sweep will be offered at 40 weeks gestation and again at 41 weeks gestation. If it's your second and subsequent baby, stretch and sweep will be offered at 41 weeks. If your antenatal care has taken place at your GP surgery with your community midwife, they will undertake the stretch and sweep for you. If you've had your antenatal care at the birth centre, this can happen there too.